TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are not live. We are live. So you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. Little warning screen just in case. Um, tw Twitch.com. Username's at the bottom of the screen if you want to catch a live. Or any previously recorded lives because we do watch Twitch exclusive things. And we also got merch and Patreon. We watch five days a week on Patreon. The links to all of that is underneath the description. It's Police Interceptors. Hopefully we haven't done this episode. Let's get into it though. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. My bad, y'all heard an echo, my fault. I forgot to turn it on. It's the witching hour. Ghostbusters Nick Priestley and Luke Warren are hunting baddies by the light of the full moon. I don't think werewolves will be coming out tonight, but baddies. there will be a couple of uh, monsters, no doubt, lurking around. Um, so we can get a few. While they wait for the shadowy underworld to show itself, an important question needs answering. Do you believe in ghosts? No, I don't think so. Well, they must exist. They must exist. When you die, you don't just go away. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, you... Yeah, well, there's an afterlife, isn't there, I believe, but maybe not. That's ghosts. There's ghosts. Like Casper. Yeah. Luke may need convincing. Spirits. And Nick's come armed with the tale of the spectre of Toller Lane Nick. I have seen a ghost, mate, up at Toller Up at Toller Lane. Oh, well, actually, it's not a very good story, actually, but I'm actually having a wee. And... Um, <laughs> And I was just uh, minding my own business. Um, and I, as I looked in the mirror behind me at 45 degrees, there was a chap behind me. And it were, uh, I looked round and nobody there. But there is definitely a, a ghost at one of our police stations, Tallow Lane, Bradford. 100%. Nick might be wary of ghosts. I'm not talking about 100%. It's 100% because you've seen it. <laughs> it's still not very high percentage. <laughs> the goings on, but he's not afraid of hard work. He started out at 16 as an apprentice panel beater at the Rover Car Group. And he's about to get a visitation from a past life. Right, I'm just on work for a road, mate. I'll, uh, what sort of rover is it? 75. The Rover 75, the executive's wheels of choice in a bygone era. But this one's not bound for the boardroom. There's a rover. Uh, that's done a commercial burglary um, in Huddersfield. Um, I don't know if it's today or overnight, uh, and it's quite a rare car now. It's a Rover. Um, I don't know if it's a Rover 75 or a 25, but um, either or, it'll, it'll stand out. Um, and it's just hit one of our NPR cameras uh, not a million miles away from here. Um, so we're just going to go flood the area and uh, just see what we can pick up. Nick awaits a reunion with the 75. Another unit has picked it up. Seven nine, we've got it. It's going uh, back into violence. There it is. Was that it? Or was that the undercover? Yeah, that was it. Okay. They're third in a cop car convoy. Five zero car three. The officer at the sharp end is interceptor Claire Gray. We know Claire. Do we know Claire? Who's witnessing a turn of the century getaway car being pushed to the limit. Inside a suspected serial burglars. Seven nine, we're just approaching Tom Street now, stand by. Who are playing with fire. He is left, left, left. He's collided with a taxi. Um, They'll need Nick's panel beating skills at this rate. So what happens when you get into like an accident at a when a high speed chase and you're like a innocent bystander and the high speed car hits you? Like who pays for it? Does insurance cover that? My insurance? My deductible go up? My rates go up? Like what happened? 
and away rover blocks the cops, then ignores the round in roundabout. Seven nine, still continuing down Nose Lane. We've got five zero miles of traffic still light and pedestrians. The 75 isn't known for its off-road ability. Five zero, stand by heavy braking. But he's not read the manual. It's just going off-road. It's safe to cover. Oh. Just over some grass area. I'm going to decamp. Decamp. Bro got beat up by the door and the concrete cinder block. That's tough. I know he's sore. Ma'am, you might as well cut a call for backup. It's over. over and out as the bad guys decamp like pinballs bouncing off into the darkness. Okay, I got a chopper. The cops are hot on their heels, but not hot enough. The friends from the rover have vanished into the night. Yeah, definitely got away. We've come running down there. There's no one gone down that way. But when they've decamped, I don't know which, I don't know whether they've come down here or gone up there. We've had a bit of a foot chase, but we lost him down in some back alleys. So, a bit rubbish, but we've got the car. Let's see CSI to examine it up till we find some uh, some prints and link somebody to it. It's not good for us, it's full moons. The full moon seems to have brought out some of the local characters. It's getting your registration. Definitely. You've got no need to drive up grass there, mate. Chase is already over. Find it in. Uh, if that were me, I'd get done for that. So why, why should you have the right to drive up field? Because we've got exemptions. Got no right. Why are you even outside? Bro just came outside to start trouble. He's seen a high speed chase taking place. He's got no need to drive on this street. Yeah, I'm going to get it out then. What? I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to teleport it out. Teleport it out. Right. Oi, oi, oi. First warning. First warning. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, not a problem. I won't right. happen again. Okay, just go take a seat with me. He might should have just stayed inside. want to impress his friends with his vocabulary, but insulting an officer is an arrestable public order offence. And to me, that is insane. That will never sit right with me. I feel like getting cursed at as a police officer is part of the job. Like, you signed up for it. Just take it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's all that about? Not me. Just what's our attitude about? Big mouth and all that. Is, is it really appropriate for this time of night? Is it? Oh, yes or no? Really. Do you think it is? Did you? Enough. Does that make it all right? It said we're all right. But no. Yeah. All right, I don't care. Just wait there for us. All right, no While the swear wolf cools off in the car, Nick's reacquainted with an old friend. It's a lovely car, mate, isn't it? Did he call him a swear wolf? And, hey, that's creative. Like, werewolf, swear wolf? Imagine taking this out at uh, our showroom when it was brand new. Lovely. <coughs> the warm. Very class. What is it? It's a Rover 75, mate. It's a gentleman's <laughs> conveyance of choice. But this one wasn't conveying any gentleman. Uh, so there's a number of screwdrivers just in the um, front seat passenger um, and in footwell, um, which obviously tools that they will have been using um, whilst out committing crime. So we'll get those recovered forensically and um, see if that can uh, lead us to any possible suspects. See if we can find out who was driving the vehicle as well. Swearwolf has returned to human form and Nick's no longer <laughs> being called a... Oi! 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 He's now called? got a more family-friendly nickname. You like the sausage. But he can't resist a parting howl. Now, is that me being a bald dinghy or him being a bald dinghy? You bald dinghy, Bobo. I've got a full head, so I'm all right. Oh, uh, well. Clearly not talking about him. Yeah, it's you. We're just wanting a reaction out there. You know, and he can say whatever he wants. Uh, we're not bothered, but one lad overstepped the mark. He started calling us this and that, and he just, you know, you can't do that. It's midnight, people are out watching this, even kids about, you know, and it's calling us unsavory. And I personally don't mind. You know, I don't, I don't care. Call me what you want, but not shouting it to all and sundry can hear. Um, it's just a bit offside, but you're used to that. It doesn't matter what you're doing, they're just playing up because they can. It is what it is. Welcome Did to Did you find anybody? <laughs> The rover turned out to have been stolen in Obviously. a burglary and was returned to its owner. It looked like they got as gloves, to the or... driver and passenger are <coughs> Still 
to come. We don't want to see this still to come. We just want to get into it. Pause. Uh, if you were on the stream last night, I do feel a thousand times better today. Um, I did notice that we did that police interceptors already after we fully watched it. So I'm back again. Right in my the wrong. use of weapons is on the rise in West Yorkshire, but the interceptors have their own secret weapon. The pit team made up of seasoned crime busters like Steph Lyschuk and Harry Jeffrey. We're just making our way. They both look 24. To Castleford along the M62. Season. There's been some information that's been rung in by a member of the public about a silver uh, Seat Altea uh, that's involved in the supply of drugs. Uh, they don't want to be caught with it because they know that they'll probably go to prison if they've got a lot of drugs <coughs> on them and uh, they want to avoid that. So if they get any chance to run, uh, or evaders, then they will take that chance. I've got running legs on today, though, so... Yeah, yeah oh, sweet. This rugby-playing officer has big boots to fill, coming from a long line of West Yorkshire coppers. Fortunately, Big H measures up with size 13 feet. We're just in an area of Castleford now. We've sighted um, possible drug users, uh, congregating so we're just watching see where they're going try to get in the area where the car will, will uh, pop out and then we'll uh, so you tracing the junkies back to the trap okay we'll try and plant a strike on it the suspect car is on the move and the boys plot up in their unmarked beamer we're at back of the skate just after train station it looks like they might be in luck. So what escape is coming towards us? Do you want me to get Stinger out? <sighs> you know, yeah, you won't have time. Stinger already? But it's a false alarm. The Seat has taken a different route, but the pit team hunt in packs. Caught their prey up ahead. Two, two, we've got vehicle detained. We've got a driver, it's a passenger, flat now. The driver is detained, but the passenger has legged it. And the plane has played. That's because protocol is stay with the driver, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm not speaking about previous experience i'm just saying is what i've noticed youtube um in the uk protocol if you're in a single car is to stay with the driver and then back up will go get the other person so you know i'm pretty sure if there's two people in that car that passenger is gone and if there's stuff in there that's not supposed to be you should take it and stash it is what i would what i've noticed from previous episodes and things of that a nature. colleague points the way. He went that way. <coughs> and word is he might be armed. Apparently he's got a knife on him as well, this lad. Will you give us a description, please, buddy? How would y'all know, them? Black male. Plenty of cops are on hand to point him out. I'll soon get round. But it falls to Harry to chase him down. While Harry, Steph, what? Harry, the skinny one, the skinny young one, to the escape route. Steph, go for the car. With every second crucial, Harry digs deep. He spots a man matching the description casually walking along. There we are. Nice try. The suspect could be carrying a knife. Give me your hand. Keep your hands out where I can see you. Put your hands out. So he's going straight into cuffs. Where have you been running from? I think I got... Oh, they're running. I'm walking. This male, can you get to me? Harry, if you can stay with him, I'll get to you with you as soon as we can, and then we'll get the door. Bro. Can you get to me? 
Okay. It's okay. He's in cuffs. Why you gotta walk? Why you gotta pull up with the door open? Stop the car first, then open the door. You know what I'm saying? Enter the cavalry. Forces with me. Handle what these, mate. Have you got a knife in your pants? There doesn't appear to be a blade, but there is something else of interest. What is it? This guy's got a large wedge of cash on him. No, no, I think that. he might have dumped something nearby. There's loads of wasteland there. Did you see where he ran on there? I, as soon as I've popped through here, he's been coming this way from there. Over there. He's come. You see those houses over there? Yeah, yeah. I was there and he's come over this fence. You said that white, white sign, didn't you? Yeah. That area there, I reckon. I'm not going to lie. At no point would I have stopped running. At no point. Like, oh, no, I'm going to walk, turn the blade off. No, no, no. You got to know they got a description of you. I'm just going to run. And we've said him has been walking. Uh, so we think he's, he's dropped some in bushes. So fingers crossed we'll find something. Jog lightly. The suspect was out of sight in a large area, which means a lot of legwork. Luckily, some interceptors have four of them. Uh, dogs far more effective at searching open area like that than we are. Just be wary, dogs off lead. So we're looking for the knife that he's, he's been seen carrying, which he didn't have when we detained him, uh, and drugs that he may have discarded. But fingers crossed, we'll come up trumps. There's no way they can tie any of that to you unless you have your fingerprints on it. So read between the lines of what I'm saying. I know it seems like a lot to do, but you had a lot. He had a lot of time. He had a lot of time and opportunity. A thorough search turns up Nothing. no trump card. But cops at the car have been dealt a dodgy pair. Cannabis alongside something more alarming. What? Located within the vehicle, we found a, a large hunting style, Rambo style knife, uh, and also a baseball bat wrapped in the, with this uh, barbed wire. We we'll just never know what, what? what we're dealing with. You know, one minute you could be dealing with somebody really, really nice, and then uh, the next thing is they pull a weapon out like that on you, and it can be quite frightening. Uh, but it's an ever increasing thing that we're coming across. I feel like he had marijuana for personal use, and if he wouldn't have got caught with that, that. Still, it was still two people in the car. The passenger was summoned to court for possession of cannabis yeah. and possession of a knife in public. What no do you get? further action was taken against the driver. Oh, so he took all the charges? That's W Mans. You know that ain't that man, that driver. You hopped in there with all of that. You better take your little charge, buddy. It's all going off in Leeds, with multiple cops pursuing a runaway hatchback. Flying through the outskirts to intercept, dynamic duo Richard Jaffa Whiteley and Steph Rushworth. So take a right at the traffic lights. Come on, where? This advanced driver's dream mobile is an Aston Martin DB5. But he's more than happy today in his patrol car of choice, the BMW 3 Series. That's how you are, Broad lane. Broad lane? Down here? Hello, I'm Stay here, yeah. five zero mile an hour. Traffic is right, Richard. Stay here, stay here. Can you get a sting yourself? But with the pursuit just half a mile away, there's no time to deploy the spikes. Romeo 4 1, we are on Broad half lane. Half a mile on the car is quick. It's going to be coming up here. Incoming. That's it. Still broad lane. Speed is 60 miles an hour. Traffic is right, which is low. They want us to take over. What type the of car is Fiesta there? has Fiesta. an unmarked pit car breathing down its neck. Well, we are for one way out, car number two. There's uh, two white males in the vehicle. In a move straight out of the big book of losing the cops, they head straight for a built up estate. They ain't put no effort into that joke. The big book of yeah, losing yeah, the cops right, is crazy. Right, right. Fairfield, Up ahead, the Fiesta hangs a left into a public park. Put your answer on two interrupts. It's too risky for the police cars to follow. 
Go around there, Mac. Why he keeps my? Oh man, here come the chopper. I thought you might have got away, but here come that chopper. You're done. But these criminals haven't bargained on one thing. The all-seeing eye in the sky. The police chopper picks up the pursuit in the nick of time, just as the Fiesta exits the path. A pass through on behalf visual with him um, is now um, heading towards Fairfield Crescent. Back onto left, 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 Fairfield Crescent. And then it's done a right, 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 Fairfield Lane, which is a dead end. They're on a road to no. It's a good little amount of people in here for me not to be a streamer. Like 20 people in here, salute. Y'all at work, y'all see. Salute to y'all. Y'all y'all risk it getting fired for me. Appreciate it. Where but could be planning a decoy. <coughs> Jaffa puts his foot to the floor to catch up. Go around, take your next left down here. First right. Yeah, I'm please. Dang. <laughs> yeah, they just scared it through that one. Hey, listen, I wanted to remind y'all that my birthday is in nine days. Uh, I haven't been vocal. I haven't been very vocal about it because, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to do what y'all do. But, you know, uh, appreciate y'all for, you know, early for saying happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? If you've never got, if you want to get me something, just sub up. And when I say sub up, I mean sub up on Twitch. <laughs> ah, or hit the donation button. Feel me? If you can't, that's cool. But if you got Prime, sub up. They can two out and running. Drivers are black t-shirt, never blue shorts, passenger wearing grey. While the chopper tracks the suspects, Gaffer and Steph are moments behind. Yeah. Over there. Can you go around? Let me just take keys from car. Right, I've got key, mate. Now the hunt is on for oh, the. I really dislike this guy. He up uh, like I don't dislike him, but like he just why he keep doing that. Every time he got to put any type of effort into doing something, he go like this. Like, ew, bro. Like, just chill. Chill a little bit. Watch. Right, I've got key, mate. Now the hunt is on. How you do that? On for the runaways. <coughs> the suspects have split up, so the chopper tracks the driver. Yeah, it's back out onto uh, Stanley. Now, this is the passenger's time. I'm telling you, protocol is to get the driver. The road and uh, is heading in the direction of Hoff Lane, I believe it is. And in a game of boy racer versus helicopter, helicopter wins. There's only going to be one winner. Yeah, he's um, handing himself, he's on his knees, standing the road, three four take, standing the road. I've got two officers approaching him now. That is your driver. Pit team officer. <laughs> he got the, uh, the, the passenger too. Bro is holding the passenger's hand and running for the driver. Now, this is an elite cop. Double try hard. Two officers mm. approaching him now. That is your driver. Pit team officers arrive on scene with the passenger in tow as well. It's a full house. You know what I noticed about me when I watch police interceptors? I'll never give credit to a cop for doing a, a, a good job. I'm just going to say he's a try hard. Oh, y'all successfully did it? Try hard. <laughs> Go back to car. With both teenagers captured and in cuffs, they return to the Fiesta. Oh, y'all got them both in cuffs? Try hards. 4-1, we'll go back to the car. Can we start recovering? For some reason, when police put on jeans, it bothers me. Like, go put on some khakis, brother. Go put some khakis on. Be professional. It just rubs me the wrong way when I see officers in jeans. Like, dang, I know you're gonna be mean. If you see a cop with jeans, they normally mean because they think they made it to another echelon of police. Like, okay, brother, you don't got the regular outfit on. You got on jeans and a short sleeve and a vest. You think you cool? 
Oh, look, look at me. Let me take this off. Now I'm undercover. No, you're not. We know. You got the police haircut. Cut it off. Bit of excitement for you? <laughs> they looked about 15, did them kids? <sighs> Put some gloves on, we'll search it. Yeah. Yeah, we've just been involved in this pursuit around uh, Bramley. Could I check the chassis number, please, and the reg number of the vehicle? While Chaffer checks if the car's stolen, Steph gives it the once-over. I don't think the car is stolen. <coughs> and there's a body part in the back seat. <laughs> Fortunately, it's plastic. Don't know what that's for. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Got to hand it to you. <laughs> yes, that's the one. <laughs> Got to hand it to you. <laughs> Listen. I don't want to participate in y'all laughter, but that was a little bit funny. I ain't even gonna hold you. Give him a big hand. Fake fingers aside, the car's clean. But is it a thumbs up or down for Jaffa's work behind the wheel? I told you. What do you reckon for Jaffa's driving, Steph? Seven and a half out of ten. <laughs> it's a seven and a half because all I had to do was follow after the car in front. <laughs> Cheeky so. Looks like a drive. <laughs> and the icing on the cake. Yeah, well, it's stolen. Oh, it is? OK, it is stolen. Stolen? Uh, it turns out the car that, that we've just been pursuing is a stolen car. Oh, OK. So even, even nicer, uh, two, two caught, helicopter, two detained, stolen car recovered. So, yeah, even better job. Uh, now we've got that information. So now y'all going to jail. The driver, caught red-handed in a stolen car, was fingered for dangerous driving and no insurance. He got eight months in a young offender's institution, suspended for two years. 24 months supervision, 100 hours of unpaid work, and a two-year driving ban with an extended retest. Golly, they gave him a little bit. <laughs> they gave him a lot, low-key. The passenger was cautioned for possession of a controlled drug. Telling you that driver 100% of the time is getting slammed. You're getting the worst out of it all every time. Although drink driving has dropped over the past three decades, over 200 people are still killed in drink driving accidents every year. And some offenders never learn. You do get people that are repeat offenders, um, and you just think why you've been caught once before why would you want to do it again you know you, you lose your license and you potentially lose your liberty so what's the what's the point in taking that sort of a risk i don't think these people ever sort of think to themselves well what if a drink driver hit a member of my family and killed them um people have a drink and yeah man if, if listen we all think that we're professional drunk drivers at some point you're not you're not that's that's liquor and bad choices clouding your judgment. Don't go out there and do that. You hear me? That's the worst decision you could make. Don't do that. You playing with your life and you playing with other people's lives. Innocent people's lives. Officers Tom Whitehouse and Dave Robbo Robson are acting on a tip off. Outward. He's regularly out drink driving um, and usually sits at St. Ledger's pub, so it'd be nice to, to catch up to him if we can do. Wait, what? Wait, it's... what? Say it again, what you doing? Regularly out drink Robbo Robson are acting on a tip off. Acting on a tip off? He's regularly out drink driving um, okay. and usually sits at St. Ledger's pub, so it'd be nice to. So he's at a pub? He hasn't even got in the car yet. But he's a regular, so y'all got to go stake out on him and see if he get in there? Is that what I'm decoding? Let's catch up to him if we can do. The suspect apparently lives just 500 meters from the pub. It's fair to say Tom is less than impressed. 500 meters is what? Is that far? Stop. I can... Hey, Siri. How far is 500 meters in feet? 1,604, no, he could have walked. 
drunk walking is kind of fun. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, it's zero tolerance. It's ridiculous. If you're going to be drinking, you know, have a walk or get to that film, it's the majority of collisions we see are from people that are under the influence of either drink or drugs. Yeah. The pub's just here on left hand side, that's it. I don't know what we're here. The tip off looks legit. There we go, yeah, that's van. It's now a waiting game. Yeah, if we plot up in car park, not nearby there. Whereabouts? Not side straight here, we could, because it comes this way. This is try hard effort, but I mean, listen. If there's one thing I can't stand is thieves and drunk drivers. So like, I mean, you know, I don't wish jail upon nobody, Bitch. but that's that's tough. <laughs> being being in the system as a repeat offender, where they know your face for this one charge, is insane. Tell you. It lives about leaves about quarter to quarter to the hour, so we'll see. And that's only minutes away. I'd start looking now, I think. If the suspect clocks the marked police car, he might choose a stroll home instead. But it's you better you better take that walk. Perfect timing. Is that that out there? Yeah, there we are. Oh look. Perfect. <laughs> This driver is suspected to be under the influence. Well, imagine peeling out of the pub and immediately getting lit up. Like, I'm talking... Hold on, go back. Let me see how immediate this is. Home instead, but it's perfect timing. That's the pub he came out. That's the car. Is that, that out there? Yeah, there we are. Oh, look. Perfect. Who gave y'all the tip? Did the pub call? Who gave this the tip? This driver is suspected to be under the influence. They waste no time in pulling him over. Go. Uh... Look, guys. Hello, sir. How we doing? I'm all right. So we flick engine off. Do you want to take a seat back of our car, mate? Go on. Just drop sick for me, pal. Right, we've got information. Oh, yeah, he's guilty. Bro smoking a cigarette right off the rip. That's an admission of guilt, ain't it? That you've just been drinking. So I thought we are going to require a breath test from yourself. That's fine. Okay. Down to business. So when was your last drink? Mm, about ten minutes ago. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Find out if I'm that, probably five. As the suspect has just been drinking, his levels may still be rising. Right, we'll give it a good ten minutes. I'll give it a couple of minutes and we'll... I've been stopped before for it then. Yeah, I've been there, yes. Have you? We've been convicted in past then. Uh, I'm an ex-squaddy. You what, sir? I was an ex-squaddy. Mike. The ex-squaddy avoids the question. Maybe as he's a repeat drink driver with three convictions to his name. How much have we had to drink today, Phil? I think I've had two. Two? Two and a bit. Time to put the two and a bit to the test. <laughs> it's the bit. A bit is that a bit is that a bit is gonna get you. Right, buddy, lean forward for me. Put your lips around here. I'll hold it and give me one long continuous breath until it's to stop. Keep going. Lovely. Spot on. Right, sir. You have blown seventy-seven, which ah. is double really? the double the legal limit. It seems the bit might actually have been a lot. I'm telling you, man. The two is you you. That's not two and a half, two and a bit, honestly. You had about 12 shots in that mug. 77? So at this time, you're under arrest, under okay. suspicion of driving whilst over the prescribed limit of alcohol. Okay, fine. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention when questioned, some of which led to relying in court, and if you do, say, maybe given evidence. You should be used to this by now. Stand up for me, mate. Really? Yeah, sure. Safe in cuffs, it's off to the nick. The suspect is keen to remind the boys he served in the forces. Do you like to get me uh, army warrant card out of my pocket? It don't matter who you are, I don't know you from Adam, do I? So. No, you don't. No, I'm just so. telling you what I've done for a living. Well, 
regardless of what you've done for a living. Treat everyone the same. Quality to make, yeah. Happy days. If it's sympathy he's after, it's in short supply. And by the time they reach the nick, that's sunk in. I hate when somebody tell you, oh, I don't know you from a can of paint or I don't know you from... A Bro, don't do that to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't ask. First and foremost, I didn't ask you. And I don't know you either. But I'm just informing you. Because I'd be this close to telling somebody, Google me. That's my... You know what I'm saying? But it's only if it comes off as, oh, you trying to one-up me. Like, Google me. Off top. If I feel any type of, if I feel any type of like, what's the word I'm looking for? If I feel a vibe where you're trying to initiate negativity by asking me that question, I'm just going to tell you Google me. You have always have to do your job. Fine. In the most humble manner, though. That one is the outcome. Yeah. Don't worry. I don't have to get my cup. I know. No, trust me. But, um, I'm just, I'm just, he's trying to be mild mannered all of a sudden, brother. He talking about whatever happens happens. Oh well, it's happening. <laughs> you, you know the routine. Well, the thing is, it's not, it's it. not the first time as well, though, is it? No, no, I've had, so, I've had a couple of goals, yes. But again, I didn't come asking. But he's still trying to justify his actions. You're not. You're not been without me. Bro, why is he so bruised up? His nose is bruised, his knees is bruised. Pause. Like, what have you, what are you, what's, what's happening? What'd you do? No, you're not, you're not doing what I've No, I'm not saying I have. I've also been to a lot of road traffic collisions where people have died due to drugs and alcohol, so it's swings and roundabouts, isn't it? It's more of a slippery slope. He's facing a fourth drink driving conviction. Who would just like to take a seat on that? <coughs> so I require you to provide. Oh, at what point do you learn your lesson, though? Four? I feel like after a certain number, they put they put they put you they put you in jail for sure, though, right? Um, it's a question. I feel like that's like proceeding. Two specimens of breath for analysis by means of an approved device. Take a big deep breath. See a little on that. Pause. And blow. Pause. Keep going. Keep going. Pause. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stizzger. It's great. Thank you. Appreciate the file. Just have a seat again now. Yeah. It's probably lower now, right? Please tell me not. Bro, pleading with his body. <laughs> Bro, pleading with his blood alcohol levels. That's tough. Please tell me no. Bro, you should have been at the bar asking the bartender to tell you no. To me. The legal limit is 35. Uh, it's also in two readings. First one's 82 and second one's 79. Mm. So you're over the limit. Yeah. Which one? More than double, in fact. 79. He trying to recall his receipts and what he drank. Brother, you're 79. On three. The two and a bit has been topped up to three, but Robbo isn't buying it. Just got to show there's more in his uh, system than what we first thought. It's going up. It says he's had three pints. It's a bit over double. I think there'll be a bit more. All this to avoid the six minute walk home. That's the end of my business. That's in of basically six minute walk, bro. Man, come on. The lads that work for me. I obviously I'm gonna now go to court. I'm gonna lose him license. I'll probably go into jail. Obviously because I did it before. If that's what three beers cost me, you've just wiped my life out. All right. You just take trust me. You've just wiped my life out. You take some accountability, brother. You live six minutes away from the bar walking and you drove. 
You're done. <laughs> All right. Can you just take your shoe off, please? Thank you. Right. Be, gee, be gonna up, be, gonna lock up. Be you gonna lock up? 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 Thank you. Thank you. He's back on the blame game, but needs to take a long, hard look in the mirror. He had everyone to blame but himself, didn't he? But at the end of the day, no one's forced the beer down his neck. No one's forced him to drink and drive. Pause. You'd think he'd learn after the first time, never mind second, third and fourth. So, no sympathy. No sympathy for him. No, I don't blame you, bro. If it was, like, his first time, like, you might want to, like, uh, like, I'd give him, like, a year to listen to. But, like, brother, it's your fourth time. Shut up and get in this cell and take these charges. You feel me? Like, come on now. The suspect pleaded guilty to drink driving and was disqualified for 18 months. With £85 CPS costs and a £90 victim surcharge. Oh, no jail time. Another. The UK lenient. Salute. It's the middle of the night shift. All around town, patrols are on the hunt for a suspected clone Silver Golf. But so far, their prey is proving elusive. I've turned this light off and uh, we have a free lost sight of it. Going towards Greece, wherever I've heard. Get behind it. Rather than chase shadows, Ben Pearson and Matt Ransom box clever oh, and ben. up. Ben has a channel. And Sugar Ray Benny is buzzing. I've got more sugar in me now <laughs> than a sugar factory's got in Sugarville. This sweet-toothed copper is a secret take that fan who used to love treading the boards at school. But the only drama this evening is in his stomach. What's take that? tingling my tum tum. Uh, Excuse me? Just a, like, there's a, that buzz. You're tingling my tum tum. Tingling your what? is in his stomach. It's tingling my tum tum. Oh, tum tum. Uh, it's just a... Like, well, I thought you said something else. I was about to... You know what I'm saying? That is the, I was about to go on a rant. That buzzing air knowing that something's happening. Another one come in. It's just obviously... Back to this cat and mouse game. The mouse in the stolen golf is proving hard to catch, despite the number of cats on the prowl. There's more cops in one little village now than there is anywhere else, yeah, probably in England. Uh, and my cats have been dropping out. But as the sun rises, there's a breakthrough. The Silver Golf has been spotted a couple of miles away in Halifax. So we're going to head towards the area. It's got a unit plotted up where it's been seen. We all should have just went home. Benny Boy is keen not to miss the welcoming party. <laughs> a district unit is already on scene. Yes, that's my colleague. We just um, pulled him now. What else is it? Scoot around. The suspect is still in the golf, and Ben bowls over for a proper Yorkshire hello. Hey, well, that's all driving now. Hiya, pal. Uh, who's it, right? Oh, no. This copper comes bearing gifts. He's going to put some jewellery on you. He's putting jewellery on me, man. Why? Because right, first what? of all, we're going to search you. Search me for what? Well, you're going to be getting locked up, pal. For what? Well, first of all, it's a stolen car. Stolen from where? <laughs> That's irrelevant, buddy. Clear. The lad denies stealing the car, but he can't deny what's down his trousers. Right. He's been searched. There's obviously that, that down his pants. Yeah, yeah. It's a bag of cannabis. Do you want to just hold that? We'll search the car for you. There's another discovery in the car. <laughs> Do you want a rubber cosh? Mm. Thank you. Front passengers. Does that hurt? The suspect tries to use his mobile and kicks off when stopped. Just by phone. You're not allowed to just grab by phone. It's off me yeah, you're nothing, bro. You're nothing. You're nothing, bro. He's clearly off class A's. He did a bump right before y'all pulled him over. All night, almost, probably. You're nothing. You're nothing, bro. You understand? Get off the Nothing. Chuckles is in no mood to chill. Nothing. 
What are you doing taking my shit off me? Well, she locked yeah. up, pal. Stop about. Calm down. Calm yourself down. Yeah. Calm down. Do you understand? Tell me, bro. Y'all better be careful. He looked like he bite. He looked like he got two, like three, four, five, too many teeth in his mouth, and it looked like it might, like, like give a give a bite that hurt a little bit more. You understand me? Yeah. You can't bully me much. Not bully you. Don't work with me, Chava. Do you understand? Who's you this? Don't work with me much. Don't work. Listen, you felt right. the power, mate. Get power? off the cuffs now. <laughs> Hey, buddy said you felt the power. Who he think he is? You think you the villain of the movie? Like what you talking about? The power? Okay. The power of class A. He's, <laughs> He's clearly agitated, but Benny Boy uses his twenty years experience to defuse the situation. He's done it because you are getting aggressive with him. What's your name? Tom. Tom. Yeah. Tom at this point. Of his name now rings bells. Oh, Tommy. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? You changed, haven't yeah. you? You do know me, yeah. Yeah, you've so, changed, haven't you? What? Ben's dealt with this lad before and manages to calm him enough to hear the charges. You're under arrest in suspicion of a motor, theft of a motor vehicle. It's a nick car. Right. All right. Possession of cannabis. Right. All right. You're going to for possession of cannabis. Well, yeah, because it's kind of actually. Right, right, Thomas. Kind of do you want to step out, Cal? And, and, yeah. and possession of offensive weapons. What offensive weapons? There's a Kosh. Is this the van for him? Kosh Gate relights his fire. What right, Thomas. Thomas, there's a Kosh. What Kosh? Thomas, there's a Kosh. What Kosh? Look at me. There's a Kosh. Don't need no Kosh, Thomas. Don't start making charges up for you. Right, Thomas. There is no Thomas. Kosh. Right, anything else? You might be a little drunk, too. On you. Oh, down the middle of your pants. No, hold on. Right. Just come over here, sit down then for us, pal. Just time for a quick catch up. I haven't seen you in what, 15 years? Take Dang, well, I swear, I, I thought he was going to be taller, too, low key. He had a tall attitude. He is. Been a long time. Isn't it? Where have you been? Been out of trouble. Right. Up there, lad. Before a trip into the van, Benny Boy again acts as peacemaker. Because you, because how you been? Yeah. That's the only reason. What, your one's been aggressive with me, bro. Listen, your I'm not being, on me. And it's like dealing with a broken record. I haven't grabbed have you. Have you come grab me? I haven't have you come grab me. Come. I don't care about uniform. No, you no, come grab I know me. You don't. Exactly. I'll... Right. You just come grab me, bro. Exactly. Let's leave it another 15 years to hook up again, yeah? Angry little man, isn't he? It? It's been a long <laughs> shift. <laughs> Angry little man is crazy because I was thinking the same thing. With a successful end. Bye, guys. See you later. Bye. Hey, listen. I know I might work, but I probably would have stopped everything I'm doing and had a little slight convo. You know what I'm saying? Bye. Yeah, I would have had a convo. She would have. Bye, guys. I would have. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. Can I get a moment? Get to, what are you doing? You know a lot of people, saying? if you think about cat and mouse, they know the Allegedly. Plot. They're in the stolen car, they're under arrest, and they've nowhere to go. So the only thing they can do basically is get frustrated and kick off. And because we're in uniform, it's just a, it's just a target for them. But the gentleman, obviously, who we've been dealing with for a long time, uh, that's who he is. He's, uh, he's been on our radar for ages. So, yeah, it's just bizarre sometimes how they can go from nothing to 10,000 feet in two seconds. And his free fall continued back at the Nick with the discovery <coughs> of cocaine. Obviously. Totally. Angry man was found guilty of possession of class A and B drugs and was ordered to pay 170 pounds in costs. No further action was taken on the suspected theft of the car and offensive weapon. The Golf was returned to its owner. Still to come. Uh, uh, uh. I want to see a still to come. Famous. An interceptor's chief aim is to protect the public. Right. And saving lives for a living is certainly something to sing about. It's just a little bit of education. Just wear your seatbelt and keep safe. Stick to your day job, man. 
Over a third of car occupants killed in crashes aren't wearing seatbelts. And Benz, Pearson and Barraclough have been singing the same broken record for years. See, it's not hard, is it, just to go click, click? Click, click. Yet it's amazing how many drivers fail to get the message. It doesn't even feel right when you don't wear your seatbelt. No. It's like coming to work without a watch on. You know what I mean? Oh, I work with no pants on. I've done that bit. Excuse me? Say it, what bit? Coming to work without a watch on. You know what I mean? Oh, I work with no pants on. I've done that before. Haven't we all, Ben? But it's the driver of a black Audi who's been caught with his pants down today. He's buckled up but sat on the belt. Hello, are you alright? And to make things much worse, the two kids aren't strapped in car seats either. Have you got a child on your lap? What is it? A child on the lap. Child. You know, two arms, two legs, small, fragile. Right, but why are they not in seats? It's to protect who? You, me, or them? Are they your kids? Well, I'd pick them up from there, but... Right, just have a pull behind you a minute. Is he a taxi? I've got no idea. Are you a taxi, sunshine? Two little bambinos in back of car. Here there, bambino. Let's just have a quick, sneaky little look. What's a bambino? That's a UK term for child? In a 30 mile an hour crash, the injury to an eight kilo child thrown from a seat is similar to falling three stories. Dang. So it's time for a sermon from the singing seatbelt crew. Hello, you all right? Yeah, not bad. Right. The kids, obviously, yes, yes. they need to be in child restraints, don't yes, they? Yes. So if they have a smash now, yes, yes. what's going to happen to the children? Just explain to me what's going to happen to them. They're going to die. Yeah. A dad who doesn't strap. Ah, Ben. You take it to the. Trap the kids in safely can expect both barrels if mum finds out. But not this dad. Are you mum? Right, mum. Hey, right, mum is in the car? I see but on then. For safety. Yeah, for safety. And what about the little ones? Hello, you alright? While Benny Boy plays the broken record to mum. But that's gonna really hurt them, that's why they have child restraints. Baby Ben spins the B-side for Dad. Hiya, pal. Why are you not wearing your seatbelt? I'm just taking it off. It's plugged in. Yeah. I, I, Don't I, lie to me, because nobody plugs the seatbelt in, unplugs it, puts it behind the back and then plugs it in again, do they? Yeah. So why are you not wearing your seatbelt? a terrible lie. Belt. His tongue seems to have been restrained. And my whole thing is, what, what's the problem with wearing a seatbelt? Like, it it's literally doesn't... Maybe because I'm taller and it's not coming across my face or anything, but it never has bothered me to wear my seatbelt. You know what I'm saying? And then once they told me it could be the difference between life and death in an accident, I'm definitely wearing my seatbelt because I can control how I drive, but I can't control how other people drive. You know what I'm saying? I could be the best driver in the world, but are these people around me? I don't know. I'm not willing to take them chances, you feel? What they do is they put the seatbelt behind them plug it in and then it doesn't beep so it gives the impression when you're following from behind the my wheel. vehicle safety is a1 i'm telling you i'm putting seat belts in i'm following all rules of the road don't get in my car thinking i'm gonna cut up i'm not <laughs> see bomb no now, now if you get on the back of my motorcycle though and things of that nature you know what i mean he's got two children uh <coughs> in, own, in the back of the car not restrained correctly Correct child seat use reduces the risk of casualty by 75%. Do you want to jump out and have a seat in my car? En route to the Beamer, the driver loosens his tongue and locates the hardest word. Please look, look, I'm really sorry, right? I assure you, I'm you. Take a seat in there and I'll have a chat with you. All right, everything that we're saying and doing there is recorded. All right. But the Benz haven't finished their well-practiced number on seat belt safety. Do you know if you were in a bump? Right. What's going to happen to them children? And this performance is in stereo. They're beautiful little girls. You just don't want them to get hurt, do you? Do you know what I mean? We're not being unfair. We want you to be safe, don't we? They even preach to the kids. You can bump your head there, and then what'll happen? Right. 
So you need to be telling your dad he can't drive. He can't drive with no child seats. I wouldn't never let him know to. But you did. Ma'am, you did. Right, I don't want to hear nothing you've got to say. You did. Yeah. We have a massive thing with people not wearing the seat belts. If a car comes around the corner, that's making off or just driving like an idiot. As a collision with a car, the children are going to be seriously injured. It seems petty to a lot of people, but this is what Fatal 4 is. One of the Fatal 4, it's the biggest contributor to injuries or fatal collisions on the road. It's about education rather than prosecution. If he learns, kids don't get injured and that's all we want. We don't want kids to get injured on the road. Please, 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 if you've got children in the car, Definitely make sure that you have the correct fastening equipment. You knew that you were going to the airport to collect these children. Yeah, these children didn't just miraculously fall off a plane and into your car, did they? Mm, talk to them. I made a mistake. You did make a mistake, correct. See, sometimes you just gotta humble yourself in the presence of police. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not gonna come off, they're not gonna come down. They could be dead wrong, they still gonna fight like they correct the police, but just humble yourself, make the transaction smooth and get up out of there if possible. I would suggest that you walk the children home yeah, I would. from here because you've got no equipment to continually carry these children as the family sets off on foot do i get an i5 go on do i get an i5 off you as well dang walk the children home. how far are you <laughs> good can i have you all set yep. they are very small though they need like booster seats okay. the message is well and truly delivered right see you later for driving without a seat belt, the driver safely secured himself a place on the seat belt awareness course. In the meantime, as long as drivers failed to My daughter's like car seat was like $30. It's not expensive. To buckle up. It's a good one. Oshkosh or whatever the brand the is. Ben's broken record will be on continuous play in West Yorkshire. It's just a little bit of education. Then to stop, I'm tired of the singing. <laughs> TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell me what's about.